Hey guys, this is Spencer. I'm just going to talk about um, three common injuries um, and three exercises we can do um, to kind of prevent these injuries or work uh, beyond these injuries in field-based athletes. So um, what we're looking at commonly injured with these athletes, so we're looking at soccer players, football players, rugby, anything field or pitch-based. We're seeing a lot of hamstring uh, strains a lot of groin strains um, and a lot of ankle injuries. So without kind of proper um, prehab, rehab, uh, continuing rehab after initial rehab has happened, then these be can become chronic issues. Um, so what we like to do is kind of include um, three specific ex exercises to target these, uh, these injuries and, and they're part of the FIFA 11 plus program or they're derivatives of that. Um, statistically, it's shown that, that including these exercises before training, before matches, um, uh, can decrease injury rate, trauma, traumatic injury rate by about 50%, um, match injuries by about 29% and training uh, injuries about 37%. So the, those are big things that we wanna include. All right, so first exercise is a Nordic hamstring uh, curl. So it's, it's been documented in many studies to be actually a specific exercise. That does help with uh, preventing hamstring injury, especially if it has occurred in the past. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up with a partner where we can use stall bars as we'll use here. Um, lock in the ankles, right? And we wanna maintain a relatively straight line from the knee to the shoulders. We can, we can bend at the hips a little bit if we need to, but our ultimate goal is to get um, hips extended. So the idea is we're gonna drop down towards the floor while our feet are anchored and try to control the movement through our hamstrings. Um, wanna make sure that's about a three to five second eccentric. Um, you might be stronger at the top than you are at the bottom. That's everything that you can work on as you, as you go through the exercise. Um, once you hit the bottom, you push yourself back up to the top. Um, give yourself a little bit of hand with your hamstrings on the way back up and want to repeat that for five, uh, five reps. Yeah. The second exercise is called a Copenhagen side plank. There's a couple different versions of this, but the easiest um, version or what we would start at would be kind of just an isometric hold. So, so it's going to kind of be like a, a, a regular side plank. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a bench with a straight leg, our outside foot is gonna be resting on the bench and our inside foot is gonna be off the bench. So what we're doing, we're using our adductor group um, to maintain that static position. Um, so again, that's strengthening the adductors, which a lot of people don't do, but is necessary when we're running, um, jumping, um, to work with the abductors to make sure that we have enough strength in the hamstrings to extend the hip um, and to stabilize through the hip. For that, we do kind of um, start off with 20, 30 seconds per side, and then you can change that up to something more dynamic. We start off isometrically. Um, with the ankle exercise, there's just a variation of a, uh, a single leg uh, stance, just make it a bit more dynamic for, uh, for athletes. Um, standing on one leg, we set up three cones kind of in a triangle here. Um, I'm gonna bend forward, not particularly bother how we're bending from the hip, just that we're keeping that balance. Bend forward, I'm gonna pick up the ball from the cone, stand up, bring it back down, and then we're gonna repeat that for the, for the uh, cone in the middle and the cone to the opposite side. So all we're trying to do is maintain that dynamic balance. Um, and that's what's gonna happen once we have an ankle sprain, we're gonna lose uh, a little bit of proprioception um, around the ankle and that's what we have uh, the possibility of getting more ankle sprains, chronic an ankle instability. Um, this is a good preventative exercise to keep doing after your rehab. So those are three exercises for field-based athletes for commonly injured um, uh, areas of the body. So if you've had these injuries, this is a good uh, program or one, two, three of the exercises you include in your warm-up before training, uh, part of your workout, to make sure that you are working against um, becoming re-injured. Um, just something more specific that is backed up with research.